What up YouTube? It is currently 9 a.m. on June 5th. It is Saturday, which is the last training day of the week. And it is also a refeed day. I am so excited because I am wicked hungry. So today's macros are going to be 125 grams of protein, 510 grams of carbs, and 35 grams of fat. So a lot of carbs, which means we're gonna have to go to the grocery store. So I'll see you over there. Okay, so I am here in Stop and Shop, and the first thing I grabbed was a loaf of French bread. That is the thing that I knew the location of, but the one other thing I want, I'm not exactly sure where that is, or if it even is in the store. So, if we find that awesome, if we don't, we'll be looking at another store, because it is something I really want for this high carb day. I'm so pissed right now. I want to get these Eggo waffle cereal things, but I don't want the chocolate ones. And I don't think they have the normal ones, which I'm pretty pissed about. So, I'm going to look around. If not, we're going to go to Target. Okay, change of plans. I saw something that I simply had to get. Had to get, no other option. I'll show you when I get back to the house. So, back at the house and this is what I got. Ori O's. Honestly, it's a terrible name. I uh, could have thought of something a little more creative, but I saw these and I had to get them. If they taste anything like an Oreo, I'm gonna be so excited. So, we're gonna give it a taste test real quick. This isn't going to be till like my last meal of the day, but I do want to try them to see what they have in store. Okay. So this is what they look like. It's literally just a tiny O. I'm going to try them dry. What? Holy... Wow, okay. That actually tastes exactly like the cookie part of an Oreo. I'm interested to see what they're gonna taste like with milk later, but until then, I'm gonna make my pre-workout meal, which is also gonna be my breakfast, and then I'll see you at the gym. All right, at the gym now, and I already feel tired. So that's terrible. So I'm going to drink this pre. I'm probably going to keep the workout footage pretty raw today. Um, no crazy edits or anything. Just going to try to get through it. I got a 4x3 on squat at RP 7 to 8. And I think that's it. And I'm just going to call it there. Get home, start eating. So yeah, start getting warmed up. Get into squats. And then hopefully have a good day. And just go 74. Rewrite my block, make it another volume. I just think it's totally so like Well, that's healthy BMI. A little, a little extra, a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's kind of like, because the best it'll be, you know it's like, you'll have your hand to get there. It feels, it's like, it almost just feels like all only the scapulas. Yeah, 
pretty good. Yep, yep. Fast. Come on. Two more. Let's go. Yep. One more. Come on. Good shit. So, gym session is done, and I can't even lie, another solid day. I had a 4x3 on squat, which I did at 474 pounds for, I think, three of the four sets. Um, yeah, it moved fast. Like, I can't even lie. Depth was on point. The bar felt like nothing on my back, which is not typical with this body weight being so low. I woke up at a new low of 166 today. I mean... Refed yesterday still, but so those carbs are definitely helping me, like really helping me when it comes to these workouts. So yeah, we're gonna go home. We're gonna have our next meal. And yeah, a couple of meals today, really high carb, gonna be some good food. Hopefully gonna be able to recover and feel really good. So yeah, see you when we get back home. All right, and we are back in the kitchen. And what I have for dinner tonight, since it is refeed, is I'm gonna go potatoes and then I'm gonna go a steak and cheese type of sandwich. So, I had my potatoes here in cold water, just resting for about 30 minutes to get all the starch out. What I'm gonna do now is season those, throw them in the oven, so as I'm cooking the steak and cheese, the peppers and the onions, uh, those will be cooking, so by the time everything's done, they'll all be warm and then I can eat it right after. So. Let's cue the cooking. And the one take kit is back. So as you can see, I drained the water out of the potatoes and now I'm just seasoning them. Today I used salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic flakes, and then some like chipotle. I'm not even sure what it is. It's like a spicy uh, chicken seasoning. It's super good. I thought I'd throw it on the potatoes just to kind of give them that extra kick which they did have and they came out really good as you'll see in the end but yeah that was super good gave them a little toss just to mix all the seasonings around now I sprayed the pan with a little non-stick spray so the potatoes would crisp up on the bottom as well as not stick to the pan got them all on there and then I spread them around so they would evenly kinda cook I had a couple too many potatoes so they couldn't all fit evenly so I had to stack a few but yeah threw them in the toaster oven convection oven little thing we have there on the counter then I got to cutting the bread this French bread was super soft it was definitely baked this morning and I was so excited to eat it but yeah cut that uh, in half and then I cut that half in half and I sprayed that with a lot a little bit of I can't believe it's not butter zero calorie butter spray I uh, can't even tell the difference to be honest and then I season that just like I season the potatoes so see so put in a little onion powder a little garlic powder salt pepper and then I put some of that same uh, chicken seasoning on it After I got that bread all seasoned, I cut up my onions, which I weighed out. I think I used 100 grams of onions, and then I also cut up my peppers, same thing, 100 grams of peppers. And I got those ready to throw in the pan, kind of cut them pretty long. Um, I didn't dice them too small this time, just because I wanted that same steak and cheese with the peppers and onions feel that you would get at any restaurant. Got those in the pan which I preheated and sprayed with a non-stick cooking spray. As you can see, they're cooking up really good. Onions are starting to caramelize here. 
Then I moved on to the beef. I used a 93.7 lean ground beef for this. I used four ounces, as you can see, weighing that out to the gram because we are diet kings. 113 grams on the dot, which is four ounces. Kind of just pat back down. And then I went on to seasoning that. I think I seasoned this with pepper, onion, garlic powder, and onion powder. Mixed all those seasonings around, making sure they were coated evenly throughout the beef. And I went and checked on my peppers and onions, which were looking awesome. You can see the onions caramelized a little bit there. Peppers are starting to cook down and get soft. So I took those off the pan and threw my beef in. Just broke that down so it all cooked nice and evenly and quick. And then while I was doing all this, I threw the French bread in the oven I was seasoned just to kind of crisp up a little bit before I put all the toppings on it. And as you can see here, we have a nice golden brown French bread with all those seasonings. Threw half of the portion of fat-free mozzarella cheese that I was using on there. I think I used two and a half servings, which is like 70 grams, I believe. And then I threw the beef, peppers, and onions all on top of that. This is looking so good. It makes me want to eat it again, not going to lie. This is the next day that I'm recording this, so. Threw the extra cheese right on top of that. And then threw that all back in the oven so the cheese would melt. I think I set the oven to broil just so... I kind of just wanted the cheese to melt and the bread to crisp, but I didn't really need to cook anything. And as you can see, it came out looking absolutely amazing. Those fries, you can see they came out of the toaster oven, super crispy, nice and golden brown. We got that cross-section money shot right there with that little cheese pull apart. And here's a little B-roll of how it came out. And just like that, that is dinner for tonight. Yeah. Life is being pretty repetitive right now. It's basically work, train, eat, sleep, repeat. Only less than two weeks till nationals right now. But I'll throw the macros up on the screen for this. Once again, I'm going to eat this, watch some YouTube, and then I'll have one more meal left tonight. It's 5.30 right now. I'll probably have my last meal around like 7.38 and then off to bed. So, quick change of plans. Me and my buddy Trav are actually about to go play some golf. I don't know if we're going to be playing mini golf. We're just going to the driving range. So, uh, it's like 6 o'clock right now. We're going to go do that. Get some movement in, I guess, so I'm not sitting around here all night. But after that, I'll come back for the last meal. All right, everybody. Back from mini golf. It was fun. We got our last meal here, which is just going to be anabolic ice cream with some of those Oreos in it, Oreo O's, whatever it's called. And then we have our Oreo O's right here. I tried them earlier and they were really good without milk, so I'm gonna give them a taste test now for you and let you know how they are with milk. This cereal smacks, I'm not gonna lie. Bomb. I'm gonna give that like an 8 2 out of 10. This is wicked good. But with that said, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to grow, and it'll help me a lot to get there. I think I'm at like 60 subscribers right now, which is like pretty good. I mean, 
working to get there and I started with zero. So that's 60 more people than I started with, right? I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.